Good morning. Just checking in here. It's Debbie from Homebody's Fitness with an essential flow. Give you a moment. Get yourselves set up with a mat, maybe some blocks. And just begin to uh, settle in for yourselves. So make yourself comfortable. Find an easy place. Good morning, Mandy. Amanda, you might have just called me. I'm on the Home Bodies page. So we're gonna give a few people a few minutes just to settle in. I hope you're all doing okay. Okay, Mandy, you got it, good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you a few minutes. Go ahead and settle in and have a seat. Find a comfortable meditative seat something that you can sit with for a few minutes. Um, if I look a little sweaty, you're right, I am. I worked out uh, just prior to this because I have to keep my mind-body connection going, as do we all. All right, guys, so come on down onto your mats. Pretty sure you can see me all the way. And I'm going to sit in a cross-legged position right now. Doesn't matter which leg is in front for you right now. Just as long as you are um, comfortable and can sit. So first I want to say um, Happy Easter to those celebrating, Happy Passover to those celebrating, and Happy Sunday to everyone else who may be just um, tuning in. It's a really rough time for us. Um, this is a big week in terms of uh, religious um, events going on. So from Passover to Easter to Good Friday to all the things and then just this general feeling of I'm stuck at home, what can I do? Um, right now you're in the right place. You're doing the right thing. Stay present, stay with your practices, stay with your fitness practices. Try not to dwell on the oh my God, I'm stuck at home take advantage and turn it around a little bit. So sit up nice and tall, close your eyes, and bring your hands to your heart center. I'm just going to make the music a little lower so you can hear me better. And I think I would like to offer up to you this morning just my thoughts on an intention of just staying healthy, staying home but staying together as a community, virtually even. So close your eyes, take that intention with you this morning. Start to breathe and slow down your breath and slow down your mind and slow down your body. Follow the breath from the base of your spine spiraling upward to the crown of your head. And allow that breath to fill you completely with prana, with energy, life force, chi, good oxygen. So fill up completely belly, ribs, and chest, and empty out completely. Your gaze is to the tip of your nose or maybe to the tops of your fingers. Without your neck actually having to move, it's the eyes that just do the gazing. The eyes are the soul to the heart, or the heart, the way to the heart. Breathe. Move inward. And take the next 60 minutes to yourselves. Work on our breathing and slowing down, and our opening our hearts. Take your thumbs to the space between the two brows. And gently as we touch the, the hands to the brows, maybe just give them a little massage and notice a violet color emanating from that space. And then pressing the palms together in the air right above your head, 
Opening the arms out, spreading the collarbones broad. Inhale again as you stretch the arms all the way up. Open your heart. Maybe look up a little bit with your neck, but just mostly with your eyes. And then float the arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers, knuckles down, heart lifts. So I'm touching my knuckles to the floor behind me. It's giving me a little bit of an, uh, a leverage to keep my chest open here. And so I pull my collarbones forward, my shoulders back and down. And then I'm gonna release the arms and bring them back overhead. Bring the hands back to my heart center. And just stretch my legs out in front. Shake them out, rub them out. Roll through the ankles a couple of times. And you're pretty much going usually to the same location of the, the leg in front. So switch the cross of your legs. We usually have a, a really habitual side for these things, right? So this is your less habitual side. You'll feel it immediately. And if you never do it, this is a good opportunity for this, to start it. And this time, bring your hands on top of your knees. Lift your chest up. Pull your shoulders down. And again, bring your collarbones towards me. Draw your tailbone underneath you. Sit just in front of your sitting bones. You can feel them if you rock forward and back. So you want to be just a little bit ahead of them. Then draw your chin down to your chest and look towards your belly button. And as you look towards your belly button, draw it towards your spine and roll backwards away from those sitting bones, creating a big giant C-curve of your spine. And your hands are helping assist you on this pushing and pulling motion. So we're pressing our hands against our knees and our knees against our hands. And then we're drawing that belly button inward as we gaze down towards it. And on the inhaling breath, we pull our heart up and forward. Maybe lean a little bit forward, but keep those sitting bones grounded. And then chin to chest, round your spine, pull the belly back. Inhale, rise up, lead with your heart. And let's make some circles, little dancing lions on our hips. Using the hands to assist you forward, back, side to side. And just starting to juice up your joints. Now, if you didn't work out like I just did, you need a little bit more movement to get your body prepared. And then reverse it. And if you did, we still need the movement. So a lot of our moves in fitness in particular are kind of linear. So this circular movement is really nice. Back to center. Bring the arms back up over your head, inhale. Let's take a spinal twist, left arm outside, right leg. Right hand tense behind you on your fingertips, lift your chest up. And look over your right shoulder, drop your shoulders down. Eye gaze goes all the way behind your right shoulder to the left side. Using the left hand for the length in the spine and the right hand for the depth, of the, or actually it's opposite. Right hand for the length, left hand for the depth of the twist. And then just lean to your left side, lift your right arm up, stay grounded through that right leg. Reach up, reach out, and then sweep that right arm around. Take both hands behind your back, fingers pointing towards you if possible, lift your chest up. Lift your hips up if that feels good, drop your neck back, all depending on what you and then lower your hips to the floor. Inhale the arms back overhead, twisting to the other side. Left arm behind you, right hand outside your knee. Tenting up your left fingertips, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, twist, look over your left shoulder, drop your shoulders down. Use the length with the left hand, use the depth with the left, right hand. One more breath. And then take your body over to the right side. Keep your left hip grounded. Take your left arm up and over. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in. And as you exhale, sweep that left arm out in front of you. Bring both arms behind you. Lift your chest. Lift your hips if you want. Drop your head back if you want. And then lower everything back down to the floor. Release your legs out, shake them out, bring them out in front of you. Rub out your knees, point and flex your feet, roll through the ankles a couple of times. Good. We often forget our ankles and our feet, and they are so important to us. So, with your legs extended out in front of you, 
just stretch the arms all the way up over your head. Just going to start activating a little core just sitting up here, just by sitting up. Good. One more breath. And as you exhale, bring the right arm down to the right side or on a block if you have it or books, whatever you have, and lean to the right side again. This time, making sure your left the hip is still down on the floor, but activating your legs really strong. So your quadriceps are engaged by pulling your kneecaps up. Your toes are pointing towards your face. Lean up and over to that right side. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure you're not collapsed into your right side, but stay lifted. And then take both arms over to that right side. Turn your head and torso over. Just a little deeper stretch, even you feel it into the hips. And then raise back up, arm up. Left arm's going to walk to the left side or on a block. Right arm lifts up and over. Legs are nice and active. Lifting the bottom side of the body up, breathe. Keep pressing that right hip down. Now turn yourself over. See how far you can go. Do your fingers meet up or are they short like mine? Just because I'm a little bit tighter. Another breath. My legs are still active. And then rise back up slowly. Release your hands down by your sides. Release your knees and take them over to either side. Come to hands and knees. Tuck your toes out and stretch the bottoms of your feet a little bit. And sit back towards your heels. Just um, chest is still elevated. Head is still lifted in line with your spine. But just getting into the, the neck of the toes a little bit. And notice I'm rocking my hips side to side. If that feels good to you, do that. If you want to just sit there, sit there. It's okay. This is your practice. And then let's shoot ourselves forward so that we release the top of the foot. Maybe tap them out for a few seconds. And then push your hips forward. Lift your heart up. Draw your shoulders down. Soften your glutes for this one. And keep your legs about as wide as your mat. Pull your hips forward. Just tuck your chin down towards your chest a little bit. So I don't want to see any of this shoulder to ear stuff. I want to lift your heart up. And then push your hips back to child's pose, toes touching, hips to heels. If you can't go all the way down, you can put a towel or a blanket or even another mat underneath your knees, right, to give you that little release. Pressing your arms forward, and remember, I'm going to have my head up so you can hear me, but you should have your forehead down on the floor here. And I want you to find the greatest expanse through the shoulders, through the ribs, through the hips that you can find with your breath without really forcing anything to happen here. And then inhale, bring yourself forward, open your heart up. Lift your chest, pull your hips through. Maybe some of you like to drop the head back. I'm not a fan, but if that's in your practice, please go ahead and do that. I like to keep my neck as close to in line with my cervical spine, or so I don't um, hyperextend through my cervical spine. And then come back, toes touch, push your hips back. So we're lingering a little bit longer in each placement. Find the maximal stretch you can find in each place by staying there. If we rush in and out of things, we don't get, we get momentum, we don't get muscle action, we don't get to release. So find the biggest expanse across your body and from head to toe. And then one more time, let's take it forward. Drop your hips down, open your legs wide, soften your glutes. Keep your pubic bone off the floor unless this is too extreme for your back. Lift your heart. Now, eye gaze is going to go up. So if you want more, rather than dumping your neck back, turn your eyes up. And then one more time, let's push back to our heels. I'm going to take my right arm under my left arm and turn my back of my head, my right ear towards the floor. So I'm reaching the right arm to the left and the left arm to the front. Working on getting my shoulder towards the floor, but not forcing it at all. So reach in opposition. Take two more breaths here. And when you empty the last breath, keep the left arm forward and just bring the right arm forward. And just a little bit deeper here, pressing the forearms down, but keeping the upper arm off the floor. Crown of the head still lengthens towards the front of your mat, so you have a long spine. 
Rise up, come forward, drop your hips down, lift your heart up. Exhale, push your hips to your heels. Left arm underneath, right arm, back of the head or ear down. Push your right arm forward and your left arm towards your right. Maybe the shoulder gets down, maybe the head gets down, but maybe they don't. So you need to listen to your body and let it guide you into the practice. If there's no reason to go with force. Take two more breaths here. And then keeping the right arm out in front of you, release the left arm, press forward, drop the forearms, keep the upper arm off the floor. Inhale, come forward on your forearms, step, step to a high plank, or a low plank, really. Separating your feet, drawing your elbows towards your hips and your hips towards your elbows. Crown of the head is long. Now pull a little forward of those toes and lower your hips to the floor. So you're resting on your pubic bone or above your pubic bone, below your hip bones. There's this triangular shape that you'll find. And then just sway a little side to side to settle in here. Close your eyes and let your chin drop gently towards your chest, keeping that length. And then keep thinking about pulling your heart forward and your hips forward while you're drawing your elbows back. You'll feel a really nice engagement, right? right? Your whole entire body is gonna feel this. And on the next breath, release your chest to the floor, turn your left ear to the mat, palms by your side, arm, arms by your side, palms up. Turn your toes in pigeon toe to sway your hips from side to side. Just release. Make your way back to center and just turn the other cheek as they say. A very famous yogi saying. And then make your way back to center, hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes underneath you, lift your knees up and just push through the pubic bone. Really straighten the legs long and pull the heels back. And then go ahead and release the knees, keep the toes tucked and sit back on your heels, child's pose, with your toes tucked underneath you. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, hovering tabletop, shoulders over wrists, knees underneath hips, not too far off the floor. If you don't want to do this, stay in that knee position, that's okay. Or if you want to take it to a full plank. Take another breath. Keeping the knees bent, hips in the air. Downward dog with your knees bent, turbo dog. And move your hips from side to side as you maybe straighten one leg at a time. Keep your weight evenly distributed between the front and the back, the right and the left, the hands and the feet. And then bend the knees again and press your chest towards your thighs, biceps by your ears. Inhale to hovering tabletop, press the earth away. Exhale to turbo dog, chest to thighs. Inhale, hover your tabletop, stay low, stay strong. Exhale, chest to thighs. Now stay here for an extra breath and then begin to walk your hands back to your feet, moving towards the back of your mat. Forward fold with your knees bent or maybe your hands on blocks or hands on shins or hands on thighs. So I'm going to let my belly rest right on top of my thighs. I'm going to let my head hang down towards the floor. And I'm just surrendering here, so stay there. Let your body, let gravity assist your body down, the weight of your head, the weight of your torso. Everything takes you forward. Now take two fists in between your feet just to measure, maybe even a little bit wider, particularly this is our first forward fold in a standing position. So um, you may need to accommodate a little bit more movement in the, or room in the hips, right? Or if your belly is in the way and if you are with a child, it's a good opportunity to keep the legs a little bit wider here. And then just fold your body and sway a little side to side if it feels good. And then rise up halfway, either on your fingertips, shins, or blocks. And let's all bring our hands now to our hips. 
Front of the head forward, drive through your feet nice and strong and raise yourself up. Place your hands on your back, fingers in either direction and lift your heart up. Push your hips forward. Lifting like there's a string at your sternum, pulling you up to the sky and then backwards. Good, breathe. Opening up your heart. And then leave with that heart, come halfway down, bend your knees. So I want the tailbone and the crown of the head almost in the same line as possible. Then float the arms out to the side, fingers reach in two directions. So now you're pulling everything from the midline of your body. Take your left hand to your right foot, bend your left knee, and right arm comes up in the air, gaze up at it. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Can you lift your belly off your thigh? And then come back to center, bending your knees, arms reach out, round the head and tailbone, same line. Right arm to left leg, right knee bends, left arm up, twist. Notice the difference from side to side because we do have very two distinct sides in our bodies. Inhale, release, arms out to side. Flip your palms up and rise up to stand. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms inside out, shoulders down. Lift out of your waistline. Lift over to the right side, exhale. Move your hips to the left side. Move your hands behind your head. Open up your heart. Breathe. Inhale, release your arms. Release your hips, come up. Float the arms by your side. Samas Titihi. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms inside out. Exhale, up and over to the left side. Move your hips to the right side. Breathe. Bring your hands behind your head and open up that chest a little bit more. I know I did a lot of push-ups this morning. Thank you, Ross. And then release, come back up so it's nice to stretch. Release the arms by your side, Samas Titihi. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, come halfway down, soften, hips back, head line of spine. Left arm down, right arm up, bend the left knee. Now, if you'd like, take the right arm and bind it behind your back. An option just to stay here, or maybe you want to take your left hand in between your two feet and reach around for that right hand. Now, those of you who want to do Bird of Paradise at this point, that's fine. Lift up that left leg, but I'm going to stay here and work on my twist, because I love to twist. Take another big breath. Now, as I release the bind slowly, no boomeranging, left arm comes to the middle, right arm comes up, and then fold over and let both arms hang. Let your body sway side to side, shake out your head. Let all tension release, and then wrap down the stand all the way up. Roll the shoulders back and around, sums to to he, arms up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, come halfway down. Crown of the head to the tailbone. Right arm to left, right knee bends, left arm up. So you can stay right here, or you can bind that left arm behind your back. Maybe you can reach for that right inner thigh if it's there for you. Or maybe you want to take the right arm and bring it underneath and grab the left wrist. Grabber, grabber is the grabber. Lift your chest up. Now if you want, you can lift that right foot off the floor and fly. If not, into bird of paradise. Otherwise, stay with me and work on the twist. Breathe in slowly. And then if you're bound or flying, release slowly. Release everything to the middle of your body. Hang and sway a little side to side. Chin to chest, roll up through your spine. Bring the arms with you over your head. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms to the sky. Lift your arms up, but drop your shoulders down. Draw your ribs towards your hips. Pull your knees up. Press your feet firmly and groundly, grounded into the earth. And then bring your hands behind your head and let your head rest into your arms. And then lean back slightly. Or lean back a lot. See where your body takes you. Lifting your arms. So your head is supported. Your heart is open. Your chest and shoulders get a really beautiful stretch. And then release the arms slowly up overhead. 
Release them by your side, forward fold, all the way down, bend as much as you need to. Hands out in front of you, one arm's length away. Lengthen your spine, look forward. As you exhale, walk your hands out another foot, maybe it's just a hand print, and weight goes back towards your heels. Inhale, halfway, walk your hands forward again, heels down, heels down, never know if they're both down or you need another movement or two. So find your way now, creeping yourself out to a downward facing dog, make the adjustment on your feet if you need to. Pressing your chest towards your thighs, the knees can be softly bent, the feet can be wider or closer as needed, chest towards your thighs. Then we lift up onto our tippy toes and engage those quadriceps again by pulling the knees up. Look forward, hold on to your pelvic floor, come forward, shoulders over wrist, high plank. Pull those knees up, pull the head forward, tailbone back, and then push back down, we're facing dog. So this gives us the approximate measurements for our dog, right? So we go from dog to plank, come up on your toes, engage your core, pull your pelvic muscles up, pull your kneecaps up, Come forward to high plank, reach the head forward, breathe in, breathe out, and exhale, downward dog, one more time. Once again, on your toes, knees lifted, stay strong, come forward, high plank, lower just the left knee to the floor, lift the right leg off the floor, flex the foot, push the top of the left foot and shin down. Now lift the leg a little higher and point the toe. It doesn't have to go too high because you don't want it to go into your back. And then round and curl, chin to chest, heel to buttocks, head down. Inhale, kick that right leg back. Now balance with the left arm out, toes down again, thumb up. Pushing and pulling. So it's as if you're being pulled from the center of your body and then the right foot is kind of pushing a wall away as the left arm is reaching towards another one. And then bend your right knee and see if you can grab that foot from behind and reach the foot overhead. You want more quad, keep the heel closer to the buttocks. You want more back and hip, take the leg a little further away. One more breath. Now as you exhale, let's release the arm and the leg. Left hand down, spin onto your left side, right arm and right leg lift, stacking shoulders, lift from the bottom side of your body. And once again, if you wanna grab that right foot and bind it, for a hip stretch or a quad stretch or a back bend. Take another breath. Inhale, release the arm and the leg slowly. Right arm comes back down, left toes tuck underneath. Three-legged downward dog, hips up. Right knee to chest, round and curl. Right leg up, three-legged dog. And then four on the floor, down dog. Walk your dog. High on your toes, engage your quadriceps. Look forward, high plank. Lower down right knee, left toes stay tucked under, and then lift the left leg off the floor. Now point your toes and go a little higher, just don't take it into your back. Knee to chest, round and curl. Kick that leg out, right arm out in front of you, flex the foot, thumb up to the ceiling, and then bend the left knee and reach around behind you. Kick the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. And then if you want more quad, just pull the heel closer. If you want more back and hip, push away. One more breath. Good, release it out. Right arm down. Turn to your left side. Left arm and left hip up, breathe. Stay here or bind your leg and your hand together. Pushing your hip forward. Oh, I don't know, it feels really good to me. I hope it's feeling good to you. And if you can name that song, Lori Gross probably can. Release the arm and the leg. Left arm down, hip turns in, right toes tuck, three-legged. Left knee to chest, curl forward. And kick it back up. Floor on the floor, downward facing dog. High on your toes, high plank, look forward. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Lower to your belly, low cobra. Arms up. 
Don't look up like I am. I'm looking up just so you can hear me. But the crown of the head reaches forward, tailbone back. Exhale, come to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest. Squeeze your arms by your side. Now extend your arms up and bring them back. And one more time, extend them up and bring them back, hands by your chest, child's pose, breathe. Relax your hips. Let's take some dancing lions, come up to your knees and make big circles, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, just cause it feels good. And just cause you can, other side. Come back to your tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Walk your feet a little closer if they're too wide. Soften the knees, lift up on your toes. Make your way to the top of your mat, however you choose to get there. Halfway lift, hands on floor, shins or blocks. Empty the breath, fold. And then rag dog, stand all the way up. So you should be towards the front of your mat. Roll those shoulders back and around. Samastiti he. Arms by your side. Close your eyes and breathe. Hands come to prayer. Keep breathing. Find the grounding of your feet into the earth. Pull the knees up. Tuck the tailbone underneath you. So remember, if you sit on your mat and you breathe, you're doing yoga. If you're moving through this flow with me, good. If you want to enhance it, enhance it. If you need to back it off, back it off. Open your eyes. Bring your hands down and up over your head. Inhale. Empty the breath forward, fold, let it go all the way down to floor shins or blocks. Halfway lift, inhale. Melt and fold, exhale, head to our shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your palms, step, step to a high plank. Either lower to your knees or go halfway down, chaturanga. Roll over your toes, upward dog and downward dog, hips up in the air. Breathe in, breathe out. Bringing your chest towards your thighs. Take your feet and touch them together at the back of your mat. Float your right leg off the floor, lift it up nice and high. Look between your head and your hands and step your foot through. Help it out if you need to. Drop to your knee first to get it through if you need to. Now stay in this lunge or bring the knee to the floor. Take your right arm out in front of you and sweep it back down and open it up so you're facing your right side and draw your right hip in towards your midline. Breathe. See if you can reach the fingers up and down, away from that center point, creating more space in the body. And then maybe guitar hero your arm over your head and follow it, eye gaze to the right, right hand. Breathe. Now bring the right hand down inside the right foot. Turn your left foot on its side. Left hand to your hip as you tuck that right hip underneath you. Left arm up in the air. You perhaps look up at it or down at your right toes. Keep blocks nearby. And on the inhale, rise up, warrior two, as you exhale, settle. Flip it up, arms and legs. Good, pump it, warrior, pumping, warrior. One more time. Let's do that one more time. Hold, warrior two. Stay here, let's talk about it. Open up your upper thighs, away from center. Squeeze your inner thighs towards center. Knee over the ankle in line with second, third toe and in line with your hip bone. So spiral everything out. Arms reach in two directions from front to back. One more breath, guys. Inhale, reach forward. Straighten your front leg as you bend backwards into a, really a side bend. Reverse triangle pose. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, windmill down. Right arm comes back up, stretch. Right arm comes down, right leg straightens if you need to shorten your stance, use blocks or bend the knee. Lengthen your spine, inhale, and fold over right shin, exhale. Keep drawing yourself towards midline, both hips, knees lifted, stay strong. Inhale, re-bend front knee, plant your hands and step back to a high plank. Choose your vinyasa, come down halfway, on your toes, on your knees, skip it, add to it, you do you. Hips up in the air, down the dog. Now if that's not enough, go to your knees for child's pose. And let's bring our feet together. 
Left leg in the air nice and high. Look between your hands and bring it through. However you get it there, it doesn't matter. You can lower the knee first and bring it in, or you can come it through and then lower the knee if you'd like. Hands on the floor or block, left arm in front of you, and circle it down, up, and around as you open up your twist to the left side, stacking shoulders if you can. Again, keep drawing the hips towards midline. Right knee is lifted, inhale, and exhale. Maybe you want a guitar hero, that left arm over your head, looking up towards your left palm. Breathe. Keep squeezing towards midline, that's hard. You'll feel it in your glutes, one more breath. As you exhale, left hand down, right foot turned, right arm up, draw the hips towards midline. And then look down at your left toes and rise up warrior two as you exhale and pump it three times. You can lift the front toes or not. One more time. And then let's hold warrior two. And let's talk about it again. So your upper thighs rotate outward, your inner thighs squeeze inward, your knee, left knee now, is in line with your left hip bone, not what you see in the mirror, and the knee over the ankle in line with second, third toe. So there's a lot of action in the legs. And then the arms reach in two directions. Imagine I'm sitting on your arms so they're not just kind of hanging loose, right? Really strong arms, breathe, it's a warrior. One more breath, flip your palms. Reach forward, and as you reach back with your right arm, left arm, left leg straightens, and we fold up and over to the side. Lift out of your torso. Move your right hip towards your left. Inhale, rewind, warrior two, as you exhale, come down, turn your back hip forward, and stretch that left arm up one more time, twisting. Inhale, and exhale. Now let's bring that left hand down and straighten the left leg to the best of our abilities. Maybe you shorten your stance or use blocks. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Fold over your left shin, exhale, relax those shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Now this time, inhale, bend your front knee. Look forward, step right foot to left foot, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Empty the breath, exhale. Separate your feet with two fists in between. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold over your straight left leg, uh, legs, excuse me, and head to shin. Now straight is relative. Mine are not straight. I have bent knees because I have tight hamstrings. Head to shins, pull yourself in half. And as you're pulling your arms out to the side, make sure you're not lifting your shoulders and your ears towards each other. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep going and let go. Breathe. Last breath here, look forward, pull your toes. Release your hands and bring them to your heart center. Press through the feet and rise up to standing. Heel toe your feet together. Close your eyes for a moment. Settle in here. Reach the crown of the head to the sky and the feet towards the earth. And then everything in between is active and lengthened. So pull the knees up, tuck the tailbone under. Lengthen from your rib cage all the way up through your spine to the top of your head. Inhale, sweep the arms down, up, overhead. Exhale, forward fold all the way to the floor, shins or blocks. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, right foot back. Left arm sweeps forward, back, up and around. Exhale, left hand inside, right foot. Right foot turns, arm up, stretch. Look down, warrior two as you exhale. Flip your arms up, straighten your leg. Rebend, warrior two, reach out. Right arm down, left arm up, left leg straight. Now come back to center, soften your front knee, reach forward, right hand on your hip, left hand on the floor or a block, and begin to float your right leg off the floor, stacking shoulders, stacking hips. Can you do this on your knee? Absolutely, we did actually. And now that I think about it, did I skip the other side? I'm not sure. But <laughs> here we are, and we'll balance this moon out. So the moon is about balance. We saw beautiful, big moons this week. 
right? Just signifies that we are still here, the world is still turning, the moon still comes up at night, right hand comes down, right knee to your chest, round curl, step that right foot all the way back, release the left arm up one more time, twist. As you exhale, left arm down, let's shorten that stance and fold into pyramid pose, head to shin. Pull the left leg back and the right leg forward or the right hip. Lengthen, inhale. And deep breath, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Shift your weight forward, lift the right leg up for one breath, square your hips, re-bend the front knee, and then step that left leg in the air, three-legged dog. Shake it out. Four on the floor. High plank, inhale. Your version of vinyasa, exhaling. Inhaling in downward dog, exhale, or child's pose. Feet together. Chest for thighs. Rise up, right leg in the air. Look between your hands, step it through. Left hand moves in, right arm moves up and open to the right side. Exhale, right hand down, left foot turns, left arm up, tuck that tailbone underneath you. Look down at your toes, rise up, warrior two, excuse me. Straighten arms and legs. Rebend, warrior two. Hold here, just find your alignment. Then flip your palms, reach forward, straighten the front leg, lean backwards or to the side, and pull that left hip towards the right. Inhale, rebend front knee, reach forward, right hand to the floor, shin or block, left hand on your hip, and then float that left leg in the air. Whoopsie. Now, when we're in class, I'm always conscious of telling you because I can see your feet, so I'll imagine that I do. Make sure that your right toes are pointing forward. You're not turning them in or out on the side doing something funky, right? So be conscious of that. Left arm over your shoulder, left hip in line. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Left hand comes down, bend the right knee, re-engage your low lunge, right arm comes up, twist. Right arm comes down. Step closer, straighten front leg, and fold over it. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, head to shin. Breathe in, working your hips to be squared. It's hard without mirrors or without somebody kind of looking at you, so you have to start to gauge it yourselves. Shift your weight into your right leg, just a short little moment here with the left leg floating off. As you exhale, bring it back down to the floor. Step back, three-legged dog, right leg in the air. Shake it out. Four on the floor. Chaturanga. Upward and downward facing dogs. Breathe. High on your toes. High plank pose, lower down knees, chest, and chin. Roll through into your low cobra, arms up by your side again, heart lifts. Let's stretch those arms forward again. Keep your heart up. Exhale, pull the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. One more time. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull back. Hands down, hips to heels. Child's pose, reach the arms by your side, palms face up. Let your shoulders drape over your thighs. Let go. So see if you can just really surrender your chest over your thighs. Let those shoulders drape over your legs so there's a complete release. And then let's cup our heels with our hands. Bring your chin to your chest. I'll turn this way. Forehead to your knees. Crown the head to the floor. Rise up on your shins. Lift your hips up. Round your spine. And pull your heels with your hands. Creating a nice, big, rounded rabbit spine. Good day for a rabbit. Well, not really, I guess. 
We have a lot of rabbits running around here, and I see people putting Easter eggs around their lawn right now. Um, so around is fine. Taking away from the extended spine that we just did. There's no weight in your head, so let everything be in the foot and shin. Pull up. And then release the hips. Chin to chest, roll up. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale your hands to the floor. Good, separate your legs. Take your right leg and stretch it back behind you. Bring your right knee to your chest, round and curl. Step your right leg all the way through and bring both hands on the inside of that right foot. Hug your knee to your chest, shoulder, draw your tailbone in. Press through the left top of the foot and shin and maybe lift that left knee up. Just something different for you, maybe. Breathe. And then lower down. See if you want to come down to your forearms or maybe you want to use a block. Come down and let's open the toes out this time to the outside of that right pinky toe. And then take your right hand and gently just guide the knee open and the hip down and the heart open. Maybe you can gaze all the way over that right shoulder and breathe a little bit more. And then come on back to center. Take your forearms to the floor and once again, we're gonna go into that forearm plank we were there earlier. Left knee up, slide your right foot back to meet it. Draw your elbows towards your legs and your legs towards your elbows, crown the head forward. Breathe in, breathe out. And now let's go ahead and lift our hips up in the air. Walk your feet forward, keep your head off the floor. Chest towards your thighs, dolphin pose. Keep your palms together as you shift your torso parallel or close to parallel, chin in front of thumbs, hips up in the air. Chin in front of thumbs, hips up in the air, one more time. Chin in front of thumbs, hips up in the air. Knees down, child's pose, arms by your side, release your shoulders, drape them over your thighs. Rise to sit up on your heels, bring your hands behind you, fingers pointing in. Lift your chest, drop your shoulders, keep your neck long, and maybe you just drop back here, and again, maybe you lift your hips, maybe you drop your head back. But once you get your hips off your heels, push your hips toward the front. One more breath. Empty the breath, release the hips down. Rise up to your seat, arms come up. Hands to the floor, exhale. Left leg back behind you, flex the foot. Knee to chest, round and curl, step it through, help it out if you need to. Bring your left hand on the inside of that foot. Stay here for a moment, kind of settle in, see what you're feeling. Sway a little side to side. And then maybe you want to come down to your forearms or a block. And then we'll turn the toes open so you're resting on the blade side of your foot. Left hand on the inside, open up and twist. So some days my foot is down, some days my foot is up, some days it feels better one way or another. It's just a matter of what we're doing at the time and how your body feels. Take one more breath. Come back to center, forearms down, tuck your right toes underneath you, step back, high plank, low plank actually, forearm plank. Right arm parallel to the front edge of your mat, swing onto your right side or bend your right knee, Side plank variation, breathe. Left leg behind you, lift your hip up. If you happen to be on the wrong side, it's not the wrong side, it's just the other side. So stay with it and we'll come back to the other one soon. Return back to center. Switching, left arm stays down. Roll to your left side, or maybe your knee is down. Arm up, breathe. Right leg behind you, lift your heart. These are options, you don't have to do them. And then return back to your forearms. Pull everything close. Lower down knees and push back to your child's pose one more time. Release the arms by your side, drape your shoulders open.
Drag all yourself to sitting all the way up. Take your time. Swing your legs around to either direction. Just take your feet out in front of you. Rock side to side. Now, let's just take the right knee into the chest and hug onto it. Flex your left foot for a moment. So pull yourself up nice and strong. Breathe in nice and tall. And then I want you to take your right knee and shoestring it over your left leg. And then relax the left foot. I'm gonna turn a little bit to the diagonal, maybe you can see it better. So my knee is stacked, my foot, my left foot is uh, released. If you have a block and you'd like to, let's just fold over our leg. So all I want you to do is sit here. Relax your shoulders. Relax your breath. Relax your left foot. Keep reminding yourself to let go. Make this a little bit more of a release. A little bit more of a yin pose than a physical yangi pose that we've been doing. Keep your hips grounded. So if you're tight, you're not going to get that far. Something under your head is really helpful. Slowly begin to rise up. If we were doing a yin press, we'd be holding that a little bit longer. Stretch that right leg out in front of you. Shake it out. Move the flesh. And let's do the same thing. So left leg is going to come in. We're going to hug around. We're going to make it active to start. So the toes of the right foot pull up towards your face. We're hugging in and around, lifting your chest up. Boy, I hope my feet are <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out. This time I'm going to turn in this direction. Left knee over right knee. Relax your feet. So already I can see that my knees are not in alignment on this one. This is a little bit tighter side for me in spite of the fact that I have knee issues going on in both legs. So now I just want to fold it over my leg. Again, a block is really helpful so that the tension is not in my neck and shoulders as I'm trying to release my hips, and I can relax my upper body, just let it hang into this pose. If you notice that as you stay in the pose a little bit, you can go a little bit low with the block, or maybe you don't need it anymore. So just change the heights of the block. If you don't have blocks, again, a towel, a couple of towels, you know, maybe beach towels will help you rise up a little bit more. And then slowly rise up again. Release your left leg or whatever leg you had on top. Bring it out in front of you. Bend your knees, place your feet back on the floor, and just move through the side. Heels in line with your sitting bones, hands under your thighs, lift your chest up. So sit up nice and tall. This is, this is challenging. Right here is challenging. Now see if you can let go one arm at a time and maintain the length in the spine. Nothing else happened. Don't change your knees. Don't let them rock in or out. Keep them in line. If that's a problem for you, take a ball, take a block, take a blanket, something between your legs. Stay honest on it. All right, so I'm going to turn this way again. Hands under the thighs, lift your chest up. Reach your arms out in front of you. Eye gaze towards your front, towards your thumbs maybe, towards your knees. Bring your chin to your chest. Round your back. Slowly take yourself down one vertebrae at a time. So we're not going to skip that middle back and go down and arch our back. We're going to first go to our tailbone, then to the waistline, then to the shoulder blades, and then to the floor. Hug your knees up towards your chest. Take your hands on your knees and make circles in one direction. and then reverse it. Hug your knees to your chest. Round and curl your spine. Grab a hold of the tops of your feet or your shins or your ankles. And then lower your head, lower your feet. Hold on to them. 
So notice, you can see my back has a pretty big arch right here. Now I'm going to tilt my pelvis so that that arch goes away, and I couldn't put my hands underneath my hips anymore. So I'm into an imprinted position, ready to go into my hip bridge. So I'm going to start to peel my lower body off the floor, buttocks and tailbone, lower back, middle back, and I rest on my shoulders. My hips and knees point forward, my knees are over, my ankles second, third toe, just like we did in our warriors. And then if you want to let go, release your arms so they come underneath your back, pull your fingers towards your heels and your heels towards your fingers. Pull your knees away from everything. Breathe. Don't turn your head. Stay in your bridge. Push through the bottoms of your feet. Squeeze the back body and lift those hips up one more time. As you release the breath, release the arms, upper, mid, lower back to the floor, articulate, and then sweep your knees from side to side, just taking a nice little twist. We're gonna do one more of those. So you choose, do you wanna do another bridge? Do you wanna be supported with something, hands or a block, or do you wanna try a full wheel? So this is a, a heart opening type of a class. We've done some heart openers today. Maybe you want to take that full wheel pose. So line up your heels with your sitting bones. First you go into your bridge, then you bring your hands by your shoulders, gently press to the crown of your head, and then gently press through the floor, lifting up your heart, lifting up your hips, trying to keep those knees from splaying in or out, trying to think about keeping them in a straight line from that hip bone. Breathe in and breathe out. So take a few more breaths in your bridge or your wheel or your support before making your way back down to the floor. Top of the head if you are up. Articulate your spine down and then everybody hug your knees all the way up to your chest. Lift your head and shoulders if that feels good to you. Rock on your spine side to side. Lower your head, release your arms to the side, shift your hips right, and let your knees fall to the left. Spinal twist. If you want more stretch towards your chest, and that doesn't take too much onto your hip and buttocks, Rise back through center, hug your knees again. Head down, hips move left, knees fall to the right. So if you're clawing the floor with your left hand because it's just so far away, shorten the stance of your legs. Bring yourself back a little bit. Slowly make your way back to your back. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms up over your head. Reach the right side of your body long, stretching the right arm and the right leg away from each other. Then reach the left side of your body long, reaching the left arm and left leg away from each other. And then reach both arms and legs away from each other. Take a big breath in and gently let the arms float down by your side. Let your hips lay open.
Let your arms be open by your side, palms facing up. Let your breath soften. Releasing the ujjayi breath that we've been practicing with and returning to your natural pattern of breath. Scan your body from head to toe, toe to head. Notice if there's any points of tension that remain. As always, I invite you to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. Or join me back as you begin to move through your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. Maybe draw your knees back to your chest and make your way onto the right side. Make your way to sitting or stay as long as you need to in any placement. And then make your way to a comfortable seat once again. Bring your hands to your heart center. Om Shanti, 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 Om Peace, Peace, Peace to all. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I have to uh, make one comment that I see. A whole bunch of my Dahlonega crew, Michelle, Kathy, Lori, Nicole, hi, thank you for being there. But this is nice, um, a little reunion. Hopefully we get there this year. But anyway, thank you so much for being here this morning. I know this is a this is challenging times. This this is this is when we need us together. So I'm here Sundays at 10:30. Um, Thursdays they vary, so check the website or or the Facebook page. Monday through Friday, 12:30 is I do fitness, um, and I have some of my Zoom clients that I do in the mornings as well. So um, I'm really trying to. Really, you help me more than I help you, I think. Um, this keeps me really focused. So I appreciate your being here. I thank you so much um, every time I get the opportunity to, to work with you virtually or in person. Make it a wonderful day. Think positive. Um, Bocelli has a live feed at 1 o'clock on his YouTube. Watch it. I'll be there with you. Amanda, thank you too. So thank you so much, Christina. Love you guys. I'll see you again tomorrow at 1230. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe.